Welcome back to the Rubric Advantage Lightboard Series, where we talk about six technical areas that set Rubric apart. In this video, we'll be focusing on, can you guess, search and reporting. As we look at today's data centers, they, as we talked about before, become increasingly more complex in a lot of ways, but one is where your data lives keeps expanding. A lot of us have a primary data center. That's how you grew up. You, you may have a disaster recovery location, DR data center. You may even have, you know, some contracts with cloud companies out there, whether that's, uh, you know, Microsoft or even it's AWS. But the reality is you start to think about where your data is and how the resources that you have to manage, they're spread out all over the place. That is why, from a rubric perspective, search is one of the primary me mechanisms that you can use to manage your rubric cluster and even manage and restore your data. First thing you see when you log into a rubric cluster is literally at the top, the search box. That allows you to go and search for individual virtual machines, databases, file systems, anything you can think of in the rubric system from an administrative perspective, you can find via search. Now, of course, on the sidebar, it's nicely organized by OS, by maybe vCenter folder, all the other constructs you would think of. But when you're getting in on a day-to-day -day basis and you just want to find one specific thing, you can find it quickly. Let's extend that a little bit further, though, into even single file recovery or file recovery. So you may remember how we talked about, you know, one of our customers where literally previously it was 20 steps to restore a file. And with Rubrik, that went down to two. It's huge operational impact. So how's that possible? The other story, actually, I love there is a friend of mine who works at a law firm, and they have a document management system that has millions of files that get stored in the file system. So with Rubrik, what you can do is literally you choose a specific server, and whether it's a file set, whether it's NAS, whether it's even a virtual machine, we look at the file names and we index those, and you can literally search on hosts or any file you want to. In my friend's case, actually the, uh, the file names were in hexadecimal, and there were maybe millions, hundreds of thousands of them in a folder. So normally what you would do, you know, you'd pick a date, a point in time, you go and expand the folder, expand the folder, expand the folder, it, no, it's the wrong day. Let's rinse and repeat that. Let's try it again and again and again. So that's where for them, literally a simple file restore from the lawyer's perspective, who you sometimes are um, have high expectations as far as turnaround time, right? Actually would take them hours. With rubric, that went down to minutes. So this is where something like search that sounds fun and maybe just kind of operationally cool can have significant impact back up to the business and even the reputation of IT to the business, truly business impacting. Next, reporting. And, and I always smile a little bit inside when, I, when this topic comes up because, again, previous history of working with these products, and someone asked, do you do custom reporting or do you have dashboards? And the answer is always yes, but the answer might be via an add-on product that takes time to set up and takes a lot of professional services engagement. So from a rubric perspective, every single rubric cluster has Envision on it. And while in this case I'm calling it reporting, it's almost a little bit of operational analytics, dare I say because it's very flexible and that you can take custom reports. There's some that are built into the box, but also custom. And those can be refined based on role, maybe a custom report for all the SQL DBAs, or maybe, maybe even a role for auditors. So you can automate what they need and they see it on demand when they need it without you having to be involved from an IT department standpoint. As I mentioned, Envision is free, built into Rubrik, simple to set up, actually set up by default. But then going beyond that, if you look at some of what we're doing with Polaris and Polaris SaaS, if you look further, there was a demo of Polaris and our reporting capability as part of Cloud Field Day 3 by Chris Wall. That's where we're going even further toward a Tableau-like experience where it's very live with dynamic filters and doing bo and both for individual clusters but for multiple clusters. And once, once we start to think about, about national or global rubric deployments. So as we're talking about search and reporting, and we think about how data is expanding and living in multiple places, if you have to keep track manually, operationally, day-to-day -day, of where all of this lives, it limits your ability as an IT tech practitioner, as a business, to leverage economic incentives, business incentives, to be more efficient for your business. However, if you have a platform that no matter where the data lives, what cloud, what platform, you can search, it'll show you where the data lives, but you don't have to think about that ahead of time. And even reporting that goes across all of these different environments this is what truly takes it for our customers, as Compare Financial said. For them, it was at least several hours a day, down to 10 to 15 minutes a day. It could be smaller environments. That could be obviously be larger environments, as we talk about Willis Towers Watson 
where they went from hundreds of VMs to thousands of VMs and not seeing a common corresponding increase in operational complexity. So in some ways, while search and reporting may not be the most fun features, they resonate for me personally, both from a background perspective and the impact that I've seen them have for our customers, enabling them to do better work that impacts the business. Thank you.